Okay, welcome to part four. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, another way to capture a, a stall with, with trigger. We've moved some leads around. In this case, uh, we're no longer micro clamped with a map sensor. We're on, um, we're on two fuel injectors on the voltage signal. We're current ramping all the injectors. We're current ramping all the ignition coils. We got the crank sensor, the intake cam, and the exhaust cam and the fuel pump. It's running across the screen. As you can see it, I'll kind of slow it down and stop it so you can see what normal looks like. A little more zoomed in. This is our, uh, this is our action here. You can see our fire cycle, four events here. There's our crank, there's our cam in yellow, our injector um, in orange, our other injector in gray. These are all the injectors current ramp, all the ignition coils current ramp in red, and of course, our fuel pump right there. Did I miss anybody? Um, the three cam cam crank, two injectors makes five. Gray is an injector, two injectors, fuel pump. Okay, all right, let's start the scope and uh, see if we can determine what uh, what caused this, uh, this car to stall? Okay. It's like we hit a stall. And let's stop the scope and analyze. Okay. We can definitely look at our... Uh, I'm going to get some guys out of the way. Get C out of the way. Get D out of the way. So let's kind of look at uh, channels. Okay, so it looks like uh, our ignition stayed did better than our fuel. Okay, we're starting to see gaps in the fuel, and uh, as we roll across, it looks like we pretty much lost our injectors. We we had we had connection issues at the injectors. It just could not run the engine. Um, the trigger right around here, the crankshaft started to slow down. And right now we're done. We had a little, little gap there, but nonetheless, take a look at uh, take a look at our injector pattern in orange, and then take a look at our injector pattern in gray. Okay, everything will kind of make sense um, right here. Okay, we can do something about that. All right, time to hustle. Boy. Okay, baby, come on. All right, just bear with me. Okay. Come on. All right. Okay. Okay. No way. Okay. Pretty much, we lost our injection pulse directly at the injector connectors themselves, and that's what brought the car to a to a stall. So anyway, that's the situation. Uh, we're gonna get back to normal. I'll start it up again, and we'll look at another stalling situation, and uh, we'll talk about it. Start the car. Okay. Looks like we're running. All right. Um, let's get our, all our channels back. Okay. Okay. We got our two go camp to our two cams, a crank, the fuel pump. Current ramp and injectors, current ramp and ignition coils, and, it, it, and fuel injector voltage on two of the injectors. Just watch the screen and uh, notice something. You see something happening? Something's happening. All right, looks like we have come 
to a stop. Let's uh, stop the scope and look what happened. Let's roll her back a few frames. Okay, take a look at that green channel. Remember what that is, that's the fuel pump. Okay, it looks like an abrupt shutdown of the fuel pump. Pretty, pretty obvious there. Okay, it looks like, um, if you look at our schematic, and uh, we'd have to tell by looking at the schematic that everything else other than the fuel pump remains strong. Injection was strong, ignition was strong. Um, our, our input signals are good. Um, after the fuel pump went down, we got cam signals, we got crank signal, we got injection signals, current ramps are good. Um, let's keep rolling. Okay, basically this thing ran out of fuel. It could not sustain um, uh, the combustion process. We were pulsing the injectors, we were, we were sparking the coils, um, but it was running on residual pressure, as you can see. All throughout the last, uh, the, the 10th frame, the 9th frame all here, when that, that green channel is low, it's pretty much running on residual pressure. So that stall was not really that abrupt, but nonetheless, we could determine that, uh, that our fuel pump um, opened up, open circuited, went bad, had a hit a bad spot in the commutator, something, because everything else remained good and just came to like a normal stall, you know? Once the crank signal goes away, once the inputs go away, the outputs, the spark and the fuel go away. And that's basically, it's running on inertia for the last, uh, uh, I would say maybe a revolution and a half. Nonetheless, that's just something to, to bear in mind um, that where the fuel pump went away by itself and caused a, a slower stall than let's say an ignition, uh, a crank sensor going away or something like that. Anyway, this is the end of uh, part four and we will set up for uh, a part five, some more, uh, more stalling issues. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.